12 million for an eight picture deal where I have to spend half the movie in a rubber nipple suit sound? It sounds like me telling you to go f yourself before I hang up. Ouch. You really walk away from all those clams and the chance to play bat? Shut the f up. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Studio spies are everywhere. It really cramps my style. And besides, the cast of Black Kid is my sidekick. So? 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 It's not how they drew him in the comics. I'm not gonna put up with political correctness bastardizing my favorite stories. <laughs> it's like someone took away the toys from your inner child. Well, why can't they get their own superheroes to play? Let's look back to the 90s. Remember Steel? Uh, I wish I didn't, actually. Is it any coincidence that one of the first black superheroes on the screen is called Steel? Before Hollywood started rolling out more colorized comic characters? Like Nick Fury, Human Torch, Blade. Blade was always black, dude, even in the comics. Not as black as Wesley Snipes is. That's nothing compared to Hollywood's long track record of whitewashing stories. I still don't see why you'd turn down the lead in a comic book movie. F comic book movies. In my day, people were happy with their heroes, as long as they walked away from the explosions they caused. I'm sure they're big, dumb, unoriginal, and probably the likeliest cause of the collapse of the film industry itself, but comic book movies kick ass, so who cares? I still just can't imagine sitting through a Tolkien Dore movie where he spends half of it in a mask. If that were me, I'd ask for at least half my money back. Right. Yeah, I'm hard-pressed to think of a hero who's super enough to bring justice to your caliber of acting. You don't need x-ray vision to see that dumbass. This is Tolku Dore, signing off.